In question 7, we are told that we have a car that travels along a road at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. The power output of the car is 23 kilowatts, and the total resistive force is proportional to the square of the speed. So this means that the resistive force, let's call it F, is going to be equal to kv square, where k is the constant of proportionality. So now, let's recall because they mentioned power and their force. The relationship between power and force is going to be P equals to F times V. So we are told that in this case, because we have 23 kilowatts and the frictional force is going to be KV square, we multiply in another V, we have KV cubed. And at a power of 23 kilowatts, the speed was 20 meters per second. So the question then asks us what the power will be when it's traveling at 40 meters per second. So once again, because we've shown that the power is equal to kv cubed, our new power is going to be equal to kv times the new speed cubed. Our new speed is going to be 40 meters per second. And so we need to get rid of our k. So to do so, we take left, divide by left, right, divided by right. So we have P prime over 23 times 10 to the power of 3, which is equal to 40 cubed over 20 cubed. And solving for P, we get 184 kilowatts. Answer is C.